Hi Earthlings, I'm Therese, and in this video I'm going to share with you the seven signs that you are highly intuitive and the three ways you can strengthen your intuition. Want the map to think rich? Download it for free in the description below. Change your thoughts, change your reality. So what is intuition? It is knowing the answer without knowing how you know the answer. And I have delved deep into studying this topic because I really wanted to find out how it worked. And it seems that there's two primary components. One, when you become a master at a subject, you can see patterns that other people cannot see, and even you consciously are not aware of. And second, we live in a vibrational universe. There is no vibration classes at school, but some of us are more easily able to tune in and to pick up on these vibrations. For example, in 1983, a rare sixth century sculpture was found. It created a lot of buzz and the Getty Museum was super interested and put up a $10 million price tag ready to buy it. Of course, they had it x-rayed. They had expert testimony and historical documentation to make sure that it was real. However, when Evelyn Harrison, an expert on Greek sculpture, and Thomas, her friend, the director of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, decided to go have a look at this rare find. As soon as they laid eyes on it, they intuitively knew something was wrong. They just felt it looked fresh. That's all they could say. And it turned out they were right. It was a fake that was made in 1980. So even with all the analyzing and the x-rays and the historical data, it was the intuitive guides from these two experts that found the wrinkle. Now get out your pen because if you have all seven of these signs, you are highly intuitive. Sign number one that you are wickedly intuitive is that it is easy for you to pick up the vibrations in a space, a room with a person. You see, we have not been formally taught to think in vibration or energy. But if you have ever experienced love at first sight, when I met my husband, I saw him standing across a crowded room full of handsome, elegantly dressed people. But he stood out from the crowd. Now, why was that? Was it he was the handsomest person in the room? Was it that he said something seductive to me or waved at me from across the room? Intuitively, I said, there is my nightcap. And three months later, he proposed. Another way to look at this and to know that you have this skill is if you understand timing. Like there's a certain time that if you ask for what you want, there's a higher probability of getting it. That is you intuitively being able to read the unspoken energy around you. Now there's four main types of intuition. So sometimes it's tricky to know if we're listening to our intuition because we don't know which one we are. And I'll show you how to find that out in this next step. The second sign that you're highly intuitive is thoughts drop into your mind out of nowhere. There is four types of intuition. There's clairvoyant, like you see different colors or visions that other people don't see. Clairaudience, which means that you hear things that other people don't hear. You might hear a whisper, a sound, a song that other people didn't pick up on. You might be clairestance, where you feel something in your body, like your gut feeling, or it doesn't feel right in your heart. Or the hardest one to pick up on is claircognitant. You just have a feeling of knowing without knowing why you know. It's like a thought pops into your mind for no reason. This is what I am. I can remember going to a friend's wedding about 15 years ago. It was a happy, happy celebration. Everybody was dancing and a thought popped up in my head that said, oh, these guys are gonna get divorced. Now divorce is prevalent, so you might think, oh, just everybody gets divorced, but there had been nobody in their family or extended family that had ever gotten divorced. Fast forward 15 years, just a couple days ago, and I was standing in my bathroom and I was like, 
oh, well, I'm so happy I was wrong about that thought. Then last night, my mom called and said, they're getting divorced. So the way to harness this power is to hone in on the way you hear the messages the most. Now, if you follow this next sign, you definitely are highly intuitive, are in flow with some of the greatest minds in the history of the universe. Sign number three, that you're highly intuitive, is that you trust your heart to lead you where you wanna go, even if you don't understand it. Now, I've heard this phrase before, but it was only studying deeper into intuition that I knew that I was doing this naturally without even thinking about it. When I heard that statement before, I thought you had to be like scared or frightened or overwhelmed. But usually intuitive people kind of just keep following their heart, maybe without even noticing it. For example, back when I went to college, we didn't have enough money to go do college tours. So I just called the registrar's office. I hung up the phone literally two minutes later and said, I'm going to Savannah. <laughs> now, I did not consciously realize that I was making what looked like to the outside a knee jerk decision. I was just naturally following my intuition. So if you have done something where people are like, that's really out of the blue, but it just felt right, that is a sign that you are very intuitive. That was like 25 years ago. I'm older and what has happened is I've gotten serious and I've gotten grown up and I've gotten, you shouldn't be such a flutter by. And so this last decade really of doing it by the book has made me walk away from that superpower and question how things are gonna work out. For example, I got this mean comment on my channel uh, from this guy named Peter Perfect. Oh, that name means something to me. I didn't know that guy, but I knew a Peter who thought he was perfect. Uh, that led me down a rabbit hole of going over to his channel. He watched a lot of ASMR. I had never heard of ASMR, but I instantly found it fascinating. Now this is the crux. I was like, I like it, I wanna do it, but how is that going to help me? Where is that going to get me to go? Because I don't have time for any of this F-U-N stuff. I showcase this story because sometimes we are taught out of using our intuition. Now you're very intuitive if you have this sense of knowing. Sign number four, that you're highly intuitive, is that you can easily read people. What you're doing is subconsciously picking up the patterns in the background, maybe the body language, maybe the energy, or what people are wearing. All of this information is being gathered intuitively and leads you to a place that a lot of other people cannot see. For example, my husband has these two friends. One guy is just a really nice guy intuitively you know if you were stuck on the side of the road you would call him however i have a hard time being around him because i feel that there's this rigidity this structure these invisible rules that if i tap dance over something dangerous could happen and my husband's like what are you talking about <laughs> he does not see it or feel it as opposed to his other friend is very charismatic and outgoing and I could spend all day with him, but I would not trust him with a dollar of my money. There is something that seems just shady or a little back dealing in his vibe. If you've had experiences like these of your own, it is a sign that you are highly intuitive. Not everybody is naturally inept at this. So claim your superpower. Now this next one, it's a landmine for intuitive hits. <music> sign number five, that you are very intuitive, is if anytime you plunk yourself down in nature, your soul is like, Maybe this happens to everybody, but every single time I go in nature and I'm walking around a little bit, all of a sudden, I feel like I could rule the world. There's optimism, joy, and if this happens to you, it's easy for you to connect with the energy, the expansiveness, and the endless possibilities of the universe. Intuitives also have this magical ability to do this. 
sign number six that you're naturally intuitive is that you're attracted to the mystic and unseen crystals tarot cards astrology it is my hypothesis intuitive people don't feel quite as frightened or scared of exploring the unknown and of course i'm making big generalisms here but i have my brother sitting in my mind my brother is a very linear person if you cannot explain it on a piece of paper don't go that direction it does not hold validity however in something even as simple as financial planning i always say numbers don't matter that much and for a person like my brother who's like if the numbers don't line up things aren't going to work out it's very hard for him to take that leap of faith and see that the numbers are a result of something it's the thing behind the numbers that create the numbers and if you change the thing behind the numbers the numbers will naturally change now this last one is the dark side of an intuitive person and if you have fallen prey to this there is a solution <laughs> sign number seven that you're highly intuitive is you might be prone to addiction i know they can't all be epically positive but it makes sense if you're able to unconsciously pick up infinite data in your surroundings and the energy in your surroundings that can easily become overwhelming and what does a glass of wine do it turns off your senses and it stops that feeling of overwhelm or maybe you're just in a situation where there's a lot of anger and fighting and eating brings immense comfort maybe eating like lots of cupcakes too many cupcakes and again it dulls your senses and clarity so if you've found that you've been using these forms of self-medicating to protect your intuitive powers and your feeling heart, you can do what I did. When I found out I was intuitive, I regarded it as a secret superpower, something not only that I had, but something that I wanted to have, that it was important to me and valuable. And all of a sudden, that started making it much easier to weed out the things that I did not find valuable. It really comes down to protecting your gift. Now addictions have a huge influencing power on dulling your intuition, but it's not the only thing that can. This wreaks havoc on your intuitive abilities. Now, if you've watched this far in the video, you are definitely an intuitive person. The first things that hinder your intuition is feeling overworked, rushed, crowded. Also, we're all prone to negative emotions. Do not fear a negative emotion. They are valuable in their own place. However, intuition gets blocked when you're in the storm of a negative emotion. So if you are trying to get intuitive guidance towards something that's really important for you, wait till your emotional storm passes. Now, how do you strengthen your intuition? I have three easy tricks. Oh, you got so many resources at your fingertips, but I will make it short and sweet. Intuition thrives on clarity, space, openness. Intuitives do not mind being alone. They need the space to breathe. So practicing mindfulness, meditation, of course, but even let's say you're not gonna do that just being present in the moment. This is where intuition meets an ocean of possibility. When you're not in the past and you're not in the future, your intu intuition explodes tenfold. So I like to practice mindfulness as a daily habit, like throughout the day. It's not like I set a timer and I'm like, I'm gonna be mindful now. It's just waiting in line oh, this is a good time to practice mindfulness. Oh, my daughter is driving me crazy. Great time to practice mindfulness. And you see the world through a whole different lens because you're not trying to change anything. You kind of surrender to the moment and this is what opens the ocean of possibilities for your intuition. Then listen to that inner voice. The more you listen to it and test it out in the universe, 
the more that voice will grow and the more you will be able to listen to it. It's this perfect little feedback loop that will take you to your wildest dreams. Now, if your intuition is telling you that you would like more money, check out Rich Girl Academy in the comments below. And until next time, my darling earthlings, ciao.